So in uh, example three, we can see how we can use these, this uh, idea of combinations to compute classical probability. Uh, it reads, the Uradal company has four women and eight men on its board of directors. And there's three parts to this problem. Part A, how many ways can a gender equity committee of four be formed? In part B, how many ways can a gender equity committee uh, subcommittee of four be formed so that the numbers of men and women are equal? And it says in, in part C, if A represents the event that a gender equity subcommittee be formed so that the numbers of men and women are equal, determine the probability of A and interpret the answer. All right. So we saw something like this a little bit before, back when we talked about um, uh, combinatorics. So we'll set this problem up in, in much the same way. So we have 12 members of the board of, of, board of directors. Four of those are women, eight of those are men. And in part A, we're asked, what happens if we take this subcommittee, how many ways can we just draw a, a committee of four from this? So for part A, here we need to choose four from among 12. So that's simply going to be The combination 12 choose 4. So let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and compute this real quick. That's what? 12 factorial over 4 factorial times 12 minus 4 or 8 factorial. So let's go ahead and compute that now. That's going to be 12. And then we'll hit the math key. Go over to probability. And then we want option number three for the combination. And we're going to choose four of those. So that's 495 we get. So there are 495 ways to simply get a subcommittee of four in any combination of gender. In part B, um, we, let's let B be the, uh, excuse me, we called it A in the example. We'll let A represent the event that two women and two men are picked. So in other words, out of this group here, we want to draw two women and then two men. So it looks like the cardinality for that event would be given by the combination. Well, what do we have here? We want to choose uh, two among the four women. So that's going to be the combination four choose two. And then we're using the multiplication principle here. And then among the eight men, we're choosing two of those. So that would be the combination eight choose two. All right, let's find those individually just to see what we get here. So in our calculator, if we hit four, math key, go over to probability, combination two, that number is six. So let's write that down. And then we want the combination eight choose two. So that's eight, math, probability, and then uh, combination two. So it looks like we get 28 for that. And the product of 6 and 28 looks like we get 168. All right, that look good so far? So um, now 
we want to find, in part C, the probability of A. So let's think about how we want to do that. We want to take the number of ways to pick two women and two men, and then divide that by the total number of ways to pick a subcommittee of four. So let's see in the numerator, that was our answer for part B, 168. And then in the denominator, we'll notice that we did that in part A. And that number was 495. So if we take those numbers and then divide those, let's see what we get here. 168 divided by 495. And what do we get there? 0 0.339. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. 0.339. So let's go ahead and, and interpret that answer now. So the probability, I'll just write prob that the subcommittee will have two men, uh, two women, and two men is, I'll write 33.9%. All right, so there we go with that. Okay, so that was the uh, first of the methods that we have for computing um, probabilities, classical probability. And now in slide number 10, we, let's talk about the second way we have. That's called empirical probability. So let's define that now. We can say given a frequency distribution uh, of qualitative data, if A is an event associated with a qualitative data item, then the probability of A is given by, let's see, the number of times A occurs divided by the sum of all the frequencies. 